Hey guys, Marco here. Hope you're all doing well. Um, today we're going to review the um, EVH Wolfgang uh, USA. This is the USA made in the USA model. Um, this is actually my second one. I had one a little while ago, made the mistake of selling it and it's one of those few guitars that I decided to get back just because of how badass it is. Um, if you watched my reviews, thank you so much and thank you for all the nice comments. Remember, this is uh, not a professional review. I'm not associated with any um, magazines or so. So this is gonna be 100% um, uh, subjective, just my opinion. So before you go in the comment section and, and bash me, just remember this is strictly just Marco's review. Um, and if you're thinking about uh, buying one of these, maybe this will help you. Uh, I haven't seen that many uh, uh, reviews out there. It's mostly for the special models or the standards. There's a couple for the USA model, but uh, I figured I'd do my own little opinion on this piece because it's such a great guitar and maybe it'll help you in, um, in, uh, in uh, deciding if you want one or not. Um, I'm gonna give you a, a few quick thoughts on the, on the Wolfgang and then um, we'll just have some fun, go through uh, uh, the case, what it comes with, how it sounds, and um, hopefully you enjoy, you know. This is, um, uh, you know, the, the, the funny thing is, I'm actually not that big of a, of a Van Halen fan, so you're gonna, you're probably gonna be like, you know, what the F, that doesn't even make sense. Um, don't get me wrong, I, I, I love Gwen Halen with respect to what he's done as a guitar player, of course, when I was young, um, was, you know, that's the tapping riffs you wanted to learn and so forth, but um, back when I was a waiter and so forth and I had a chance to meet him, and, and you know, all this aura about him uh, being a little bit of a, of a difficult guy once in a while, so it's not like I'm really, uh, you know, that crazy about him, so you might say, well, it doesn't make sense why you have an EVH guitar if you're not a fan about him. Well, I, I love great guitars and I actually hate, I actually hate giving the guy money, but the reality is it's such a great freaking guitar that, that whether it was an EVH or not, uh, I would, I would, I would have bought it, you know, and I, I like signature models. Some, some of them, I really do. I, I have a Washburn N4, the Nuno model, which I think is just a, a badass guitar, period, Nuno or not. I have um, uh, a Momstein Strat, which I think is a badass Strat, period. Not because it's a Momstein Strat, it's just a great Strat, period, if you ever have a chance, play one. Um, and of course, I have this puppy. And you know, then there's other signature models I, I was never a fan of. Um, I just didn't know what to do with the jams. And, and I adore Steve Vai. And actually, in a little bit, I'll play a little bit of Steve Vai on this guitar so you can see what it sounds like. But I just hate the Tiger grip, for example. You know, so it's, it's all so subjective you know and keep in mind that as a guitar player you're probably going to have some guitars in combination the reason why this works so well is one of my main main axes here uh, for producing recording mixing and live is just because of how badass this guitar is but i also do have a les paul most of you probably have seen my review i have a les paul classic i have i have the washburn and i have the strat so I, you still want to have that library of different sounds with respect to electric guitars and then of course Acoustic guitars is something else, but 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 something about this guitar. And um, I, I also uh, back at, at Berkeley, I used to play the the PV Wolfgang, and I never thought when I was young I would own a PV guitar. But the PV Wolfgang, something about the way um, Eddie built these or designed them, you know, again, love it or hate him, they're just unbelievably a, a great guitars. Period for for that particular um, job that this guitar is supposed to do. So keep in mind, this is a very specific axe for a specific job, just like the Les Paul is a Les Paul and the Strat is a Strat. So I'm not gonna sit here and tell you this guitar is great for everything, but for what it is, it is absolutely spectacular. Um, you know, this is a Ferrari, the Les Paul would be a Bentley and so forth, and it's just unbelievable. The guitar, first and foremost, just the way it looks, to me, is just um, stunning. I love this matte black, uh, uh, high end finish that they have on it. Uh, it is superb quality, and you know it, it actually looks better in person than when you see it in a store. And they're they're kind of rare to come by. And even if you order it, you, you probably have to wait. Um, this guitar goes for three grand. It's twenty nine ninety nine is the the list on it, 
which means you can probably get it for maybe 26, 27, somewhere there if you have a good relationship and a history with a store. And then of course, uh, if you're smart, you're gonna buy it uh, uh, somewhere from out of state where, um, where you can save on the tax, you know? Um, again, this is not an endorsement, like I said in the Les Paul review, uh, but uh, if it helps you for your consideration, I get all my stuff from, from Sweetwater. Uh, uh, it's just to me the best store on planet Earth. Uh, I used to, you know, back in the day, uh, shop a guitar center here in Hollywood. Unfortunately, in my opinion, guitar center and is just not what it used to be. So uh, every time I swung by there, it's just it's basically become a 7-Eleven. Uh, people really aren't much educated uh, on the gear, um, uh, you know, and, and most importantly, the gear is really beat up. So if you go into guitar center and you find, you know, a 2017 Les Paul, you know, all the way back here, it's already gonna be used and dinged up, so, and of course, then you also have to pay tax here. If I order from Sweetwater, it's always just been a, a fantastic experience and just great stuff. So again, not an endorsement, but if you, if you wanna, uh, my advice, personal advice, where to buy stuff, go to Sweetwater, it's just, um, it, it truly is on a different level. Um, ask for Matt McKibble, that's my sales guy, I've been dealing with him for years, and obviously having that history, I'm also very lucky to get really good deals. So I was able to get this for a, a truly an amazing deal way below what, 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 what it lists at. The look is beautiful. In a second, we we'll go through the spec of this. And then of course, you wanna know what, what, what it sounds like. Um, let me give you a few quick uh, 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 details about the guitar and then, um, and then we'll, uh, we'll get into the sound of it. So when you get the guitar, it comes of course in a high-end case with the uh, famous Van Halen stripes here. Um, I have to say the case is kind of what you would expect, like it's nothing super fancy, but it is, um, it is very protective. Um, I got myself, of course, uh, a nice quality gig bag, you know, it's a little bit easier when you go to rehearsals and so forth than carrying this thing around. It's really nice with this velvet, uh, little, kind of like violetish red, um, finish that it has in here. Um, DVH logo, and of course the, the Wolfgang itself. Um, when you open it here, you get all the goodies. Um, I added a better here. This is kind of just kind of be careful; it falls right in. Um, there's some uh, the manual. You can uh, find it also online. The PDF manual to that. Some words from Eddie. Really nothing fancy. It doesn't have any uh, pictures of how the guitar was made, like the Les Pauls so now shipped with. But uh, you know, you get the key to the case, um, uh, and uh, the lock would be on the middle one right here which is cool. So again, if you do use the case for travel, it's, it's a really good case. Um, uh, one thing I noticed when I had the previous Wolfgang, I did put uh, the DiMarzio strap-ons and it was a big issue putting it back in the case here. So what I did now, first time ever, and I kind of really liked it. I bought this, uh, you know, I don't know what brand it is. Um, it's called the, there it is, the, the Locket, which is kind of cool. Um, it actually works really well. And it's safe, uh, you know, um, so it's really new to me, but it kind of clips right on. And uh, if you ever considered something else than drilling into the Marcio strap, strap on, it's really, really, really good. Um, and then the guitar, of course, obviously fits very snug, snug into the case. So comes well protected. Most likely, if you get one of these, you're going to get the, um, a nice gig bag anyway. Um, I bought this... Uh, Gator one right here, which is really top quality because, you know, when I go to gigs or rehearsal, I need just something that has a little bit of a, of a sturdiness to it. So let's get into a couple of specs here. Uh, you know, this is one of those guitars that you will just absolutely love or it does nothing for you. Um, I just don't see anything in between. It's very similar to a, uh, um, a Washburn N4 with the respect, hey, it's either fully your thing or you just don't know what to do with it. Um, Personally, I just think this guitar looks sick. Uh, every time I play a show or somebody comes over, guitar player or not, they just always have something to say. And that's rare because people wouldn't just notice a guitar, but here it's always like, wow, what is this? What's the finish? It has this beautiful, gorgeous matte finish that's very high quality and also doesn't wear. The previous Wolfgang I had, I played the hell out of it and usually, You'll get a little of noticeable wear here, but the finish is so high quality that unlike other guitars, it won't look super worn. One another thing too is that 
this guitar actually looks really cool when it's beat up and I like my guitars worn and beat up um, this is not a custom 24 furniture guitar that you're always scared to play this guitar is to me like a Les Paul but uh, uh, I love it broken in I love it beat up and, and if it has some wear on it it, it actually looks great um, it has this beautiful five-way ply binding here as you can notice and I'll zoom a little bit there you go see if we can there you go which is beautifully finished all around the actual axe right here did a really nice job obviously by hand so it's 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 perfectly imperfect you'll notice some some spots for example if you go to the headstock here just how nicely it's done as you would expect obviously from a you know guitar that lives for three for three grand ebony fretboard with dot inlays all the other usa wolfgangs actually have blocks or like a les paul type thing uh, i'm just a huge fan of, of of ebony just the way it looks again it's of course a personal thing but you know um i just cannot you know the rosewood to me is just all too too regular it has eddie van halen custom pickups again the sound we'll get to in a little bit if uh, if it's your thing it is if it isn't no big deal um they're different actually than the Wolfgang Special. A lot of people understand that the Wolfgang USA and the Wolfgang Specials are very similar. However, the pickups are not. Um, certain things are a little bit different, um, but uh, these are custom on specifically for the USA model. It has a Floyd Rose, an EVH Floyd Rose. And this is most likely probably made in China. Everything else is made here in Corona by Fender, which is, which is funny that Fender builds these but uh you know it's it's just uh i guess that's where eddie you know felt uh, he wanted to get it done and it has the detuner which is works flawless once you set up set it up it is uh it's, the guitar i can tell you stays absolutely stunningly in tune it's it's probably one of the best in tune staying guitars that i've ever ever played in my whole life and that i can tell you says a lot i've been playing for 20 28 years um you have a volume and tone now very unique here is that the tone is kind of hard set like very hard to move way harder than on a Les Paul or on a Strat and then the volume is super light that's just the way Eddie has I mean you can literally see it is super light I mean it's like as if it were loose so uh, I can tell you that a lot of times when you play and even if you slightly bump it it'll, it'll go off now these are extremely top quality high high friction pots so when you go down here you still have full gain but a lesser volume rather than losing gain it is it is truly truly uh remarkable uh what difference it makes these are very i think they're 12.5k uh i i'm don't quote me on that but they're really superbly uh uh done with respect to gain output at lower levels and you can really tell for example if i pay, play my mom's thin strat and you put the volume down it's really just a low low volume and you lose the whole character of the tone here even at the very low setting, you still have the character of the tone and then the volume, including the gain, goes up as you as you increase uh, the knobs. The volume, I mean, how many of us really use this? The, um, the Floyd Rose is dive only. And uh, that's, again, a personal thing that I just absolutely love. Um, even on my Floyd Rose N4, I have a tremolo nose system so that it's fixed and I can decide if I want it free floating or not. But one of the things that I absolutely love on this is that it's dive bomb only. So you can go to the front and you cannot go to the back. And, and again, it's a personal thing, but that's one of the things that I absolutely just love about this guitar. If this was a free floating system, I would install the tremolo no system anyway. Uh, most of you probably know this is reverse, okay? So here on any other guitar, you would be on the neck pickup however on this particular one you're on the bridge and then down here you're actually now on the on the neck pickup so it's completely reverse than than every other guitar so here you are bridge hope i said that correct yes here you are bridge and then here you are neck okay on most guitars that will be the opposite here you are neck and here you are bridge um i think that's it for the front the body is basswood with maple AAA. Um, of course, that won't matter here because it's a solid finish, just like a Les Paul standard and gold top. 
it's a triple a top but you won't see all the grains because obviously it's covered in a in a solid color but um uh, it is a triple a maple top with a on a basswood body uh eddie loves basswood uh personally i mean um you know i wouldn't notice the difference by the time you signal process it but basswood is great quality it's lightweight and uh, the triple a maple top just gives a character sound on as on many other guitars uh it is beautifully uh, the guitar by the way is around eight pounds um, don't quote me, but I think it's around eight pounds. It feels very comfortable. If you can see the the curving of the body is is beautifully done and machined. And I try to zoom in a little bit here. Um, and uh, maybe if I go a little bit sideways, you can kind of see how the the body curves in and towards the front and gets a little bit flat. Um, one of the things that a lot of people uh, surprisingly. Uh, I guess complained about is the vintage style frets. Um, the other you, uh, special models have jumbo frets. These are stainless steel vintage. And a lot of people, um, I guess, don't like that. Um, I never really understood the fuss because the whole point is, again, this is a different guitar. Uh, I personally love them. First and foremost, on this price tag, you would obviously expect stainless steel. Uh, that's a no-brainer, which obviously is, is awesome to have because they never wear out. And I can tell you, and for you're just going to have to go and play it, the, the intonation and tuning on this thing is absolutely beyond belief. The way it bends, um, I, I love both. Again, uh, uh, if I want super uh, jumbo, I have my Momstein Strat, which... You know, you basically don't even know there's a fret there. If you want something in between, you got the N4, which has the regular, and here you have vintage, but um, I personally love them. Once you get used to them, I think it's absolutely fantastic. We are now looking at the back of the guitar. Again, just that awesome uh, finish here. Black matte, top quality, uh, bolt on neck right there, and then the, the maple neck. Now, there's some really, really interesting under the hood things here that uh, you wouldn't notice or know unless you researched and there's surprisingly a lot of a lot of thought that went into the neck here first and foremost it's a compound radius obviously 12 to 16 it is a quarter sawn neck quarter sawn neck what does that mean it means they cut diagonally into the wood to get the strongest part out of it which takes more time more effort and obviously, you'd be actually surprised how many two and a half thousand dollar guitars or three thousand dollar guitars don't have that. You see these straight grains right here that fold the neck all the way up. That's actually the strongest part or the strongest way to cut that wood. It just takes more time, leaves a little bit more waste, but it really, really makes the neck the stronger. And on top of that, they have two graphite reinforcement rods on the side. So if you were to open this neck, you would have the, the rod in the middle, and on top of that, on both sides, a reinforcement graphite rod. So there's just an insane amount uh, of, of uh, effort that went into the neck, which um, obviously the philosophy is it's supposed to last you forever, but uh, you know, a lot of guitars don't have that. And of course, you know, if you take care of your guitars, it never really should matter. But, but uh, again, for this price point, it's just, um, uh, Fender and Corona and Eddie, I guess, really, really, that's just something that he's very uh, strict about or, or really just wanted to focus on. It's one piece, of course, and uh, you don't have ears here like you see on a Les Paul, for example, because what they do is they cut a thin strip and then add the ears. And I kind of, uh, you know, it's funny, you buy a Les Paul custom for four grand and they still save the wood and put ears on it and then usually have a different color. Again, not a big deal. But it's just sometimes the principle of it. And here, this is an actual one piece. So there is wood wasted here. And, and you know what? For three grand, it, it, it should be because you want a one piece, which is always more solid than, than a two piece neck, no matter how you put it. So you have the main rod in the middle, two supporting graphite rods on the, on the, on the side. And here you have this beautiful nutting, which is uh, some of the strongest part of that, that wood can offer you. And then those grains, which are just a dead giveaway that it's a quarter sawn uh, neck. And of course, you can research it a little bit more online what that means. So it does not make for the prettiest neck. It's not as beautiful as a, as a bird's eye neck, but I can tell you this is probably as solid 
as you can have of a neck between the way the wood is cut, what type of wood it is, and on top of that having two reinforcement graphite rods on the side. So I just don't know how strong are you gonna make that neck unless you just build it out of metal. Uh, EVH brand of golf tuners, I mean, just standard stuff, um, and just a beautiful, beautiful guitar all around. I love the detuner on this guitar, and not so much because it's a detuner, but because it actually works. If this didn't work right, it would be a gimmick that's just not good. Um, and we'll go through that in a second. Now here, again, these, these are very, very light. A lot of times when you play and hit it, it'll just, it's, it's almost too loose and the volume is very, very strong. It takes a lot of effort to move that. So I attached a little uh, clip-on tuner here. These things actually work surprisingly well. We are in E, we'll hit the E string. Perfectly in tune. We'll go here and pull the, the D tuner and hit the D string and perfectly in tune. I mean, for me personally, this is, I cannot tell you how much I love and appreciate this feature and the fact that it, that it actually works as advertised. Um, it takes a moment to dial it in with this tiny little uh, Allen wrench there. Um, but again, you can probably go find a video. I don't want to bother you too much with it. If you're using it, you already know how it works. And if not, uh, it, it is, oh my God, how great of a feature, unless you're going to a seven string. Um, the pickups are direct mounted. And again, the uh, Floyd Rose is just dive bomb and does not float, which again, I personally absolutely love. A uh, quick FYI on the serial number on the Wolfgangs. Uh, these are sequential, unlike other Fender guitars. Remember, this guitar is built by Fender in Corona, California here. However, if you look at any other Fender Stratocasters, the serial number will start with US and then the year, 15 for 2015, US 16 for 2016, and so forth. These are just uh, sequential, so I guess this is a W, uh, G Wolfgang, and then I guess the 38 th or 3810th model. I called Fender. I have no idea if this is total or just for the stealth or just for this year or nothing. And you know, these guys uh, just getting them on the phone, getting them on the phone is a, is a unique experience. So, um, but just be aware if you're buying one and you want to know what year it is, this is probably going to be a headache to find out. Uh, and you're going to have to make some phone calls. I want to show you real quick the difference in thickness. If you look at the Les Paul Classic and the Wolfgang here, and I'm going to try to put them right about equal there. It's just about here. You can just see by how much thicker uh, the Les, how much thicker the Les Paul is. Um, so every time I play the Wolfgang, or if you play a Wolfgang, then pick up a Les Paul, the Les Paul is going to feel like a beast. You're going to feel like you're going from a Golf GTI to a, to a, to a, you know, Jeep. It's just a huge, huge difference. Um, and I'll also put them next to each other real quick so you can kind of gauge a little bit how they look with respect to, to scale. Let's make sure they don't drop here and I'll put the other one there. Um, the next set is much lower on the Wolfgang, which makes the guitar actually appear smaller, but it actually has a longer scale. So um, you see they're almost the same height, uh, slightly short on the Wolfgang, but the next set is much, much, much deeper. And again, if you play, I, I love the size of the Wolfgang. It's, it's, it's perfectly sized. It's kind of like in between a Les Paul and an and a N4. The N4 obviously has a very small body. But, um, of course, the last poll is a mammoth next to it. All right, let's hear what this uh, thing actually sounds like. I'm going to give you a quick um, a couple of clean raw sounds. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. Uh, you're probably not going to spend a lot of time playing this thing clean anyway. And clean sounds are always rough because uh, nobody's going to play a clean sounds straight out of the amp. There's going to be some kind of processing or a lot of stuff, especially when you play live. In a second, when I get to the distorted part of it, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll mic it a little bit more pro. But, um, uh, you know, 
remember this is reversed. So here you actually have the bridge and here you have the neck. That's just how Eddie has it. So real quick, this is a Boss GT100 four cable method, zero stuff. The reverb is from the, um, from the Marshall and all I'm borrowing from the, uh, uh, the Boss GT100 is just the, um, a little bit of delay. So yeah, and that's about it. So here's the, uh, the bridge. Same thing on the neck. Nice, it's warm, I mean. Same thing on the, on the bridge again. It's kind of exactly what you would expect. It's very aggressive, and then the the, the neck is very warm. Again, this is almost uh, basically all Marshall here. Um, but uh, you know, how, how much time are you going to spend on raw clean sounds? If you're going to play this thing clean, you're most likely going to have some uh, kind of uh, processing to it. Now let's get to the fun part, which is uh, attempting to shred. Uh, and do what this thing was built to do. This is a Ferrari. It was built to look great and go fast. Um, I'm going to attempt uh, 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 Steve Vai. Uh, uh, Juice is the name of the song. I recorded this a couple of days and put it on YouTube. So uh, the reason why I'm, why I'm going to use this is because both pickups are featured uh, and I mic'd it pretty, pretty pro. So what I'm doing is I got the Marshall DSL, four cable method as mentioned, but then I mic'd it with a Shure 57, straight into the quartet, into Pro Tools, and then a direct link into the camera. So you're really gonna get, um, without going to the store and playing it yourself, probably the, the best representation that I can give you out of home of what this guitar would, uh, would sound like. Um, and uh, we'll, you know, maybe watch 30, 40 seconds of the clip and uh, you know, uh, hope, hope, hope you enjoy it. I don't em embarrass myself too much uh, playing Steve Vai. <laughs> spinning in his mansion right now um, but you know I, I we have an excuse Steve I is from Mars and you and I are from planet Earth so but uh, I hope this gave you a little bit of an idea of what the guitar sounds like and I hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, kind of uh, opinions that I have about it and um, uh, if you were thinking about buying one of these uh, I can highly recommend it I think it is beautiful it looks badass it looks sexy uh, it, it is very hard to put down when you play it. Uh, I mean, it, 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 I love the setup, the feel, the love and craftsmanship that went into it. I love this raw neck that just 
gets oil and broken in after a while. You can totally tell where it's a little bit smoother now where I played and then raw. I mean, it's just a beautiful guitar. It is truly uh, one of those that uh, you get what you pay for. Uh, and it is a very versatile guitar. And um, love Eddie or not, it, it's a great guitar. Uh, it is not cheap. However, uh, you also, uh, you know, I hope you don't walk into guitars or whatever and give them list price and pay tax. You know, if you're smart and obviously, I'm sure if you look at this particular guitar, you're probably a more advanced player. Uh, you're very blessed to be able to uh, afford it. And most likely you're probably gonna try to get a deal. Uh, again, my suggestion is go to Sweetwater because you uh, most likely don't have a store. Um, I believe the only store is in, in Indiana, so you're not gonna have one unless you live there. So you get it obviously minus tax, which right there saves you, you know, 300 bucks. Um, great axe, highly recommended. It. It's beautiful. Uh, if you get lucky to see one in the store, play it. Uh, even if you don't buy it, I think you'll appreciate what, what it is. Um, uh, you know, they're not easy to get, uh, but uh, highly, highly, highly recommended. Um, see you guys soon. Hope this wasn't too dreadful and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, most importantly, happy holidays.